Working with blend modes can make your videos more creative and give them a unique style. You can also use blend modes to create overlays, which help transition one clip to the next. So in this video, I'm gonna share some of my favorite and most used techniques, and one of them includes how to create a double exposure. If you're new here, I'm Ali, and Will and I release weekly DaVinci Resolve editing tutorials as well as gear reviews. If you're into that sort of thing, subscribe to stay in the loop. Now let's hop into Resolve and check this out. There are a bunch of different blend mode options you can use. The ones that I show you work best for me and the style I'm going for. But at some point I recommend you check all of them out just to get a better idea of what you can create with blend modes. So I have these two shots for a fitness video I'm working on and I want the first yoga shot to flow a bit more seamlessly with the surfer shot. So I'm gonna use a few light leaks that we made. And if you want a free pack of these 4K light leaks, let me know in the comments below because we're gonna be giving away a few packs to some people. I love this pack. I use it in a lot of videos and I'm sure you will too. Anyway, so I'll drag a couple light leaks over top of this footage, one over top of both of the clips. This second one I'll place just over top of the yoga chick and I want them to feel like they're actually a part of the footage. With our cursor over the first light leak, in the inspector where it says composite, Let's change the composite mode by clicking this drop down menu. And one thing I love about Resolve is if you hover over a lot of the different effect options or composite modes like we're doing now, you get a preview of what they're gonna do. So let's just keep going down until we get screen. All right, let's check this out. Awesome, let's do the same thing with this second light leak. So again, in our composite tab, click the drop down menu and scroll down for screen. Awesome. Now this one, as I just scrubbed through, gets a little too bright for my liking. So let's drag the opacity slider down to around 55 and check this out. Nice, that looks great. So using these light leaks helps make these different clips feel more cohesive and work together a little bit better and gives the clips a bit more of a unique look. Next, we're gonna create a double exposure by having this mountain time lapse show in a person's face. So with the face footage over top of the mountain clip, let's pop over to the color page. First, we're gonna work with curves. For this particular project, what we're gonna do is brighten the light parts of the clip and darken the darker parts to give the clip more contrast. And this effect does work best when there's a clear difference from the background and the foreground. I'm gonna add a point here close to the top and another one down here close to the bottom. And as I move the bottom point down and inward, you can see that the shadows and the darker parts of the clip become more prominent. I'll drag the top point of this line in and up, which makes those bright areas even brighter so now our clip has a good amount of contrast. Now when we go back over to the edit page, go into the composite mode drop down menu and choose multiply, we can see the mountain time lapse in areas of her face that are bright. And depending on the double exposure look you're going for, this might work great for you. In my case, I actually want to get rid of the skin tones here. So we'll pop back over to the color page, press option S or alt S on our keyboard to add another node. And with it selected, go over to our RGB mixer, choose monochrome, which is gonna make all the color in her face go to black and white. And we can adjust our blue output by dragging it up to reduce the brighter parts of her face, dragging it down to increase them. One more thing I wanna do with a clip like this to make it look a little cooler is pop back over to the edit page, select the mountain clip on the V1 track with our cursor at the beginning of the clip under transform where it says zoom, Click this keyframe to hold this clip's position in place. Now let's go to the end of the clip. Increase the zoom to 1.4. And when you click away, that will automatically create a keyframe for that new zoom position as well. And let's check this out. That mountain time lapse is scaling bigger as the clip goes on. Awesome. If you wanna see more of the double exposure looks I like to use, please let me know in the comments below because I'd love to make a video showing you those. Next with this sunset clip here, I'm gonna add text on screen. Open up effects, search for text, drag this onto the V2 track. 
up an inspector, we can change what it says. So I will, in all capitals, because I find that looks better for these types of things, write the word create. Under font family, I'm gonna start typing impact because I like the way the font looks and increase the size here. Okay, looking good. Let's pop over to the settings tab, scroll down and under composite mode, let's choose overlay. Bring the opacity slider to around 65. The composite mode overlays a little more pronounced, I guess would be the word, compared to screen. So that's why I prefer it when I'm working with text. Okay, next we have this clip here of these two wolves and the wolves are darker contrasting against the sort of grayish sky behind them. So we'll create another double exposure look using a slightly different approach. Instead of having the background clip show up in the whites like we just saw, we'll have it show up in the darker parts of our wolf clip. With our cursor over top of our wolf clip, let's go to composite mode and choose screen. I gotta say that's probably my most used composite mode. Now we have this guy showing through a bit everywhere, but we want to just show through the wolves. So let's go back into the color page and we're gonna use curves again to make those bright areas even brighter and darken the darker parts. Let's check this out. Nice, and now we have this double exposure of wolves with a starry sky showing through them on a white background. And there you go. A few videos I highly recommend you check out next are linked right here. Thanks for checking this one out. I hope it was helpful and I hope you have a lovely day. We'll see you in the next one.